big girl. Oh, Hey, what's up, everybody? You're watching The Drop. I'm Cynthia Luciette. And I'm Jay Snow. So San Andreas, the movie, hits theaters today starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and it's about a devastating earthquake that destroys almost half of California. Yeah, it's kind of scary because I feel like that could actually happen at any second. Like, a big well, well, thing could hit. Why would you say that? Why are we filming the show? We don't need to. into the ocean, and then that's it. That's a little extreme. It's not. No, listen, I went to go do the red carpet for this movie, and there was a seismologist there who actually did the research for the movie, and she was like, yeah, we're 300 years overdue for California just boop. That's scary. Into the San Pacific. Andreas is actually real. It's real. So we're here in Hollywood at the Chinese Theater for the premiere of The Rock's new movie, San Andreas. It's about a ginormous earthquake hitting California and a man trying to save his family. Now, I've been through a couple of earthquakes only in California, and it was terrifying. So I'm going to talk to some celebrities and see what they have to say about earthquakes. So how did you guys walk the line of being entertaining but also sensitive to all of the real life earthquakes and people who had to go through that? It was kind of like the biggest challenge of the movie, you know, do something that's fun, but at the same time understand that you're dealing with something that's really serious, not just around the world, but especially here. It was about like trying to sort of mix a certain level of spectacle, but make the theme very kind of relatable and very uh, much about family and relationships and not about destruction. I play Marcus, one-fourth of the LAFD Search and Rescue Fire Department. Best friend to Ray, who's played by Dwayne Johnson. Ray's at a point in his life where he's really married to his work. His family's kind of going in a different direction. and. I come along to tell him, well, dude, you got to do something about this situation. I was reading about you, and you did some pretty amazing stuff for this movie. We did. You know, Brad Payton, the director, really challenged me to come up with a unique approach to this score. So one of the things we did, we destroyed an old piano, recorded the sounds of hitting it with sledgehammers and cutting the strings. We actually subscribed to the U.S. Geological seismic data specifically for the San Andreas Fault. We took those recordings and we turned them into sound waves that we use in the film. What activity would you never want to be doing when an earthquake hit? Dropping a deuce. <laughs> that, that's a very bad one. Worst. <laughs> you gotta run and depending on what stage you're in, it could be a bad situation. It's very easy to believe it isn't really going to happen. It's geologic time. 2% per year, that's not much of a chance. The problem is well, some year along here, we are our luck's going to run out. We know it averages about once every 150 years. We know it's been 300 years since the last one. So tell me, um, if there was an earthquake that hit right now and you had to choose between saving Kim Kardashian or Kanye West, who would you choose and why? Save the booty. Kanye. I kind of like Kanye's music, so I'm going that way. Oh God, I have to say the same thing, but I feel really douchey about it. Yeah, like I feel women and children like first, actually. Play. I forgot. But you know what? It's a new century. So it's, yeah. We got equality I'd now. I'd save Kanye because art has to live. Kanye. Nobody saying Kim. Saying Kim. One person said Kim because of her booty, but everybody else, everybody was like Kanye. I think I have to go with Kim because I would want her clothes. She'd be your best friend for life. She would. She she would be indebted to me. So how was the red carpet? How was it seeing the rock come in on the fire truck? It was helicopter? cool. It felt like my own little version of WrestleMania. I was like, man, I'm like living my childhood dream right like now. Are you about to just body slam yeah, somebody? Yeah. Although I really did not appreciate having to talk about earthquakes for two hours. Speaking of which, a Dutchman said that we would get an 8.8 .8 earthquake. He, he predicted the Nepal one right. two days before. He was two days off of that. So, I mean, fuck. You know what? I need to get an earthquake kit. They were saying that they were preaching it on the red carpet, so I feel like that is a sign. What that is an I earthquake kit? Shoes, water. If the I ground think, comes up from up under you, ain't nothing gonna save yeah, you. Yeah, but like if stuff starts falling and you survive the actual earthquake, and then what? Find some shoes, cause well, your shoes could be caught your under your car, your house, your body. Okay, so yeah, fuck experts who say prepare an earthquake kit. Listen to because Jay you know, can't prepare for something that devastating. The ocean came up and over the city. Do you think a bag of shoes is gonna help you? You know what you need? A helicopter pilot. That's what the fuck you need. You need Dwayne The Rock Johnson to come pick you up with a helicopter. There you go. Well, make sure you guys check out San Andreas. It is in theaters right now. And besides the essentials, what would you put in your earthquake kit? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to All Dev Digital. I'm Jay Snow. I'm Cynthia Luciette. See you next week on The Drive. You almost said tomorrow. I was about to say tomorrow. <laughs> Pack some Jordans for a fucking earthquake.